Hey, it's Friday. You know what that means? It's time for the studio update. We have a lot of things coming up here. We have uh, the, their uh, tattoos of the week. We got three of those. The latest in body piercing and content news. And also, hey, Sunday, we have an open house, Halloween party, uh, free food, magic, all kinds of fun stuff. So you should probably uh, stick around for all the details. Hi guys, I think it's that time of the week for our tattoos of the week. Uh, this was a uh, cool piece that I did on a forearm. Um, I'm probably gonna butcher the pronunciation, but uh, the bottom uh, says Miatak Oase, which is uh, Lakota for we're all one family. And uh, that uh, is the root of the tattoo um, and from there the uh, trunk goes upwards with the double helix uh, that was really really uh, fun to work on getting that kind of weaving pattern and uh, leading to the top which is a uh, uh, basically the branches uh, the graph of the uh, tree of life which uh, we're just like a tiny little microscopic nothing on that thing, which is pretty cool when you when you check that out. But uh, yeah, it was a, a few hours I think on it, maybe three. And uh, yeah, it was a really cool piece. I'm happy with how it turned out. And uh, thanks for checking it out, guys. See you next week. Hey, what's up? It must be time for a tattoo of the week once again. Um, this week. I, uh, let's see, what did I tattoo this week? Hmm. Oh, yeah, I did a cover-up. Yep, that's what I did. I did a cover-up on a guy, a uh, really interesting fella. He came in, and we did a big eagle. It's, uh, like a sketchy type, black and gray eagle. It's got a lot of sketch marks around it and stuff. Uh, it goes from his arm over here where the cover-up was, all the way across his chest. It's pretty interesting. It's got one wing out, one down. It's a uh, really neat contrast for the bald eagle where his head comes in. I don't know. Check it out, man. See what you think. I thought it was really neat. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Just let me know what you think. Uh, if you want to see anything or you got any questions or anything, shoot them to us. Uh, don't forget about Davo over at Axiom Body Piercing, taking care of all your body piercing needs and whole poking needs. Uh, Part-time is here sometimes. We'll find her sometimes. I think she might come in today. Maybe. I don't know. It's like the mystery box. Um, you never know what you're going to get. So come in, check it out, see what we got. We got all kinds of new jewelry. A bunch of jewelry just arrived again today. Uh, there's all kinds of neat stuff. Don't forget about the party coming up. Uh, this Sunday, we're going to be here dressed up in some of your favorite costumes and doing some weird, wacky stuff. We got a magician, I think. We got a palm reader. Uh, we got food catered by the uh, taco truck. It's going to be a good time, man. Hope to see you guys out here, and we hope you have fun with us, and uh, we hope to see you on Sunday. Thanks, guys. Davo here with the Body Piercing and Content News and general studio news of the week. Well, uh, had a busy week piercing, of course, as always. If you'd like to set up an appointment, go to axiompiercing.com slash booking, um, and that'll set up an appointment for piercing. If you're looking to get tattooed, you need to send us an email at shop at skinkitchen.com or give Jess a call at 515-25-4430. Uh, in other studio news, on Sunday, as in the 17th, as in this week, we are going to have an open house appreciation party uh, Halloween uh, fandazzle, I guess, would be a way of putting it. Is that a word? Anyway, it's going to include live magic by Ben from uh, Adventureland fame. Also, we're going to have free tacos and various other things from the uh, taco truck across the street. Well, it was across the street. Uh, and then we're also going to have free tarot reading. And it gives you a chance to socialize, look around the studio, see what it looks like. Um, we're not going to be piercing or tattooing that day, so we'll have time to talk to you and hang out and socialize. Fun stuff. So come in, get to know your artists and your fellow tattoo and piercing fans on a social level instead of a... All right, I'm, I'm doing this. Okay, I'm doing this. Uh, thank you. See you. Now it's time for what we like to call content news. I uh, got up three videos. Uh, last week on Friday, of course, posted the latest uh, studio update. Then on Sunday, we uh, posted the audio version of the last uh, 
of our Q&A podcast, which is where the four of us sit down and discuss topics that you might need to know about. This one was about how to communicate with your artist. Uh, very interesting conversation. This is the audio version. It's also released as a podcast. Uh, you can find that anywhere you can find podcasts. I think we're on pretty much every platform at this point in time, for the most part. Uh, check that out. Link is in the description. Then, uh, yesterday, because I filmed it on Monday, but didn't have the time to edit it because I was piercing people, I posted the latest episode of Pros and Cons by a Piercer. This one was about labia minora piercings or outer labia piercings. Uh, it's a female genital piercing. If you're curious about that, thinking about getting it done, or know somebody that is, you might want to watch that or share it with somebody. If you're on Facebook and you would like to see any of these videos, go to our YouTube channel. Link is in the description above. While you're there, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. If you're on YouTube, of course, just look at the links in the description. Uh, of course, like the video, share it with everybody you know, and uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell. You know, be a nice person. Get involved. Become a part of this fun-filled community. Now, with everything I've had to say thus far, here is Jack with his Tattoo of the Week. Hello, tattoo fans and tattoo world. It's Jack, and I did a tattoo on a guy. I took pictures. Gave it to Davo. He made this out of it. Uh, this is a sleeve I finished up on a gentleman. Um... All black and gray, some Americana stuff, a lot of fun. I think I used the bell, uh, which you can't really see in this picture, but um, I think I had the bell as one of my tattoos of the week back in the day. So, uh, you know, dig through a bunch of them and you'll find it. Anyway, uh, I had a lot of fun, of course, with it. Um, he just kind of gave me some ideas of some Americana stuff he wanted and uh, I took it and ran. And then he eventually caught me, and I did end up doing the tattoo. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, it was, uh, I thought it came out really good. Got the Statue of Liberty in there, and we wrapped the flag all around and put an eagle up top. There's a cover-up up there in the, in the eagle. Um, so, uh, yeah, it just had a little bit of everything in it, and it was a lot of fun to do. And I thought, hey, you guys like tattoos. You'd probably want to check it out. So there you go. I uh, hope you uh, like it. If you don't, then shut up. If you do, then tell everybody you know. <laughs> no, really, everybody just shut up. Seriously. No, I'm kidding. Or am I? Mm, I, I am, though. As far as you know. All right, you crazy kids. Uh, get your snow boots out. You know what's coming. Uh, or, and your skis, because, you know, it's Iowa. You never really, and I meant water skis, because you'd never really know what the fuck's coming. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a killer uh, weekend. And um, come and see me next week, and I'll have something else to shove in your face. <laughs> see you next time. That's it. You're fully updated. All you need to do is definitely show up on Sunday if you're local and enjoy some free food, free magic, and free tarot reading. By the way, the magic's going to be at 3 and 5, it looks like, so you want to get in here around that time. Other than that... Here's hoping that your tattoos and piercings heal with ease and without a single issue. And if you're in the Des Moines, Iowa area, we all hope to see your body piercing and tattooing needs in the future. <laughs> Have a good day, everybody. We'll see you on Sunday. You can dress up if you want to. Wear something scary, something spooky, something fun, something weird, whatever.